guys and welcome back now there's been a bit of a mix up with the chicken story the chicken story i'm is uh now on chapter 13 but at the same time it would still be on chapter 12. i'll explain to you why because at the start of the story i've actually added a backstory to ben's life and um chapter 2 is also a part of ben's life before he actually finds out the black figure killed his family so you know how this chicken story started with a black figure straight away they would cut to chapter two immediately after but now chapter one is a full backstory like three years earlier before this even happened chapter two is all finished and it all matches up with the story just nicely i just haven't got it on my actual updated version and today we're just going to be reading chapter one of the chicken story because i couldn't read chapter six because if i did then it'd be well over 15 minutes so sorry, but it's just going to be chapter 1 today. And we'll read chapter 2 next week. Please enjoy. So, this is the new chapter 1, called A Fresh Start. Beep, beep, beep. Well, it's time to get up, Ben said as he got out of bed. Good morning, Mum. Good morning, son. You're up early. You must be keen for school then. Heck yeah! I finally feel like this is the day. The day where I make new friends. But you already have a friend, Sam. Yeah, I know. But I would love to make other friends. Okay, then. Well, don't forget to have breakfast. I won't. After Ben finished his breakfast, he grabbed his bag and ran for the door. When? Hey! As a deep, loud voice boomed from the dark room as he emerged from the shadows. Don't you dare think you could leave this house without saying goodbye. Dad, how you been? I'm doing great, son. And it's great to hear that you're excited for your first day back at school. Most people hate their first day back. I hear it's not very nice. Honey? Sorry, son, but in all seriousness, enjoy your first day back and enjoy yourself. Now you better get your butt to school or you'll be late. Okay, I will. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. Bye, Bye son. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day. They both said as Ben slowly closed the door behind him. School, here I come, as Ben set off on a brand new adventure. How you been, buddy? I haven't seen you in six weeks. Yeah, I know. It feels like forever since the last time we saw each other. But it's great to see you again, Sam. So, you excited for our first day in year seven? I mean, yeah, but it is a little nerve-wracking. Did you tell your family you were worried? Nah, because I didn't want to worry them. You'll be right, because I'm here with you through the whole journey all the way to year 12. Thank you, Sam. You always have been, you always have the right words at the right time. That's because I've learned from the best. You. Oh, so sweet. Not. What are you doing here, Bob? What do you think, nitwit? I'm in your school and always will be. Don't you ever forget that. Vile losers. As Bob's gang slowly walked away laughing their heads off. You wouldn't be so tough without your buddies. What did you just say? I think you heard me. Oh, you little. Ben, what are you doing? Standing up for us. Okay, but don't blame me if you get beaten up. I won't get beaten up. Sam? Sam? Then Ben saw Sam running down the hallway. Oh, Flip. Sam, wait for me. Oh, you two are so dead. Get them! Bob shouted as his gang ran after them. Keep running and don't look back. Why? Then Sam looked behind him. That's why! They both continued to sprint even faster down the hallway, passing lockers and people along the way, before running straight into the principal. Oh no, they both said. Sam, Ben, how nice of you to drop in. Mr. Chicken... But I thought you were the primary school teacher. Didn't you hear? I was bumped up to principal. Because they must have seen how good of a teacher I was. So how about we start easy, yeah? Starting with detention. Because you should know. You should not know. Not to run in the halls. How would we know that? It's our first day, day in high school. Then maybe you should look at the school rules. Bob's gang quickly came to a halt as they saw Mr. Chicken further down the hall. 
We better not go any further, or we'll all be expelled. So, Bob's gang quickly ran away before Mr. Chicken could call out their name. Boys, you get your butt back here right now. I know you guys are chasing after these two. And if you... And if you come, then I won't expel you. Great. Now we have to spend attention with those two. So Bob's gang slowly walked to Mr. Chicken, wondering why Mr. Chicken was now the principal. So, does any one of you want to answer why you're in detention? How about you start first, Bob? Because we were running in the holes. Also... Why are you, Principal? I thought you were the primary school teacher. I have already t answered this question with Ben and Sam, but since you weren't here, I will tell you all about my story on how I became Principal. Oh, oh no. no. So, it all started when... They all looked at each other before saying, Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. I don't want to know any more. Nice to see you're on the same track, because you're, cause my life story is pretty boring, and I'm sure you don't want to hear the whole story, am I right? Yes, you're right. Good. Now get back to reading, or I'll keep you in here for even longer. After detention finally finished, they all rushed out of detention and didn't speak a word to each other until school was over. I'm sorry I was mean to you before. But I'm still not happy about what, you, about what you said earlier, so tomorrow we will settle this once and for all, unless you're a chicken. It's nice that you tried to apologize, but you definitely gonna need some work, because that was terrible. Oh, and to answer your question, I'm not chicken, so see you tomorrow, Bob. Okay then, I can't wait. After school finished, Ben and Sam walked back home together before saying goodbye to each other as they both walked their separate ways. Oh man, I wonder what Mum's going to say when I enter that house. Well, there's only one way to find out. Here we go! As Ben slowly opened the door, he saw both his parents standing at the door and they didn't look happy. Ben, what have I told you about not starting a fight? You could get hurt! But, your mum is right. I thought you were better than this. But, okay, oh Ben, it's your first day back and the first thing I come home to is that you were put in detention. That's not the boy I know. The boy I know does, does his work and not get detention on his first day. This isn't primary school anymore, Ben. It's high school. And in high school, you need to get your work done. I'm sorry, Ben. But I'm going to have to send you to your room. But, no buts. You need to do what you've been told. So you go to your room and don't come out until you've thought about what you've done. Okay, Ben said as he slowly walked up to his room. What's wrong with you? I've been sent to my room for something I didn't do. And what's that? Start a fight. I would have never thought my little brother would get in a fight. Just leave me alone. I don't need any more drama in my life. Okay, fine with me, little bro. Stop calling me that. Ben, is everything okay up there? Yes, Mum. You almost got me in trouble. Again. Sorry, can't help myself, little bro. Stop calling me that. Ben then slammed his door shut. Bang! Oh, that boy will never learn. Please, honey, just let him be. He's gone through a lot today. Just let him think for a while. Okay, anything for you. Stupid school, stupid dad, stupid mum, stupid everything. This day sucks. Why can't I just skip time that I wouldn't have to deal with all this crap? Ben then flopped on his bed and sulked. But then, something hit his bed. What was that? As Ben wiped away his tears. Okay. Don't freak out, but I'm here to tell you about your future, said the voice. My future? Why my future? 
Because I had to tell you something, Ben. You're about to experience something devastating later in your life. What? What could possibly be that bad? The death of your family. As if I care. My parents are disappointed in me, and my sisters are just annoying. They think I can't do anything by myself, just because I'm the youngest. So if you don't mind, I'd like to sleep in peace. Okay, if that's how you feel, I was just trying to warn you. But one day, you will realize how important your family is to you. It's not too late to change, before it's all gone. Then the voice slowly faded away, leaving Ben to think about what just happened. Before it's all gone? What the heck does that mean? Oh well, I'm too tired to care, as Ben slowly drifted off to sleep. And that was chapter 1. Chapter 2 is unfinished, so we're going to skip all the way to chapter 6, which was originally chapter 5. So see you there.